Welcome to your girl came back another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, we are doing another Freedom Couture wig video. But before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning supporter, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, help me grow. Um, so I mentioned to you guys in my weekly vlog that a friend suggested that I do this and it never really clicked in my head to do it, even though I get questions about it. And that's just talking about my freedom couture wigs yet again um and i actually get a decent amount of questions about these wigs mainly because one um people are i don't know i'm not sure if she's aware but people are low-key a little bit afraid to invest this much money because you're not sure if what you see is what you get because there are some companies out there what you see is not what you get um in addition to that they want to know if it's gonna you know look good on them and me being dark skin um i think i align better with them or they align better with me i don't know that's probably not the right word but you guys know what i mean i think they i don't know what the right word is i can't think of it right now if i think about it i'll put it on the screen but the wig that i'm wearing is a freedom couture wig these are all freedom couture wigs this one was originally black i did blonde then i went to this auburn color which i'm gonna be rocking here because it's about to be fall um and i think the color is perfect now this was my first freedom couture wig now one of the other things that i really get asked a lot is about the lace because you're dark skin you're not sure you know it's like oh it's transparent lace the lace is going to look good um i don't want to say i beg to differ but unfortunately i do beg to differ and i'm i'm not a professional this is just what works for me um it took a lot for me to get the lace to match and i'm gonna insert pictures up here so you guys can see of each wig um without the lace matching now this is my most recent purchase and the lace on this matches i don't want to say like flawlessly because i did have to still put like like my foundation or my contour on it just so it can be a little bit darker to my skin tone but it's the best lace to match me thus far so these wigs are all a couple of years old some of them are three years old so i think maybe in her process it has gotten a little bit better so this was the first wig that i got and i loved it and i've done a lot like i've tried tinting the lace now i don't tint the lace with fabric with like lace tint i tint it with fabric dye um and then i also put like foundation and contour and still it was just too it was just too light like i mean i'll show you guys pictures you'll definitely be able to see it like i have the one on my head right now it's also a wig that i got from her and you can see that the lace i don't want to say it doesn't really match because of how i have it parted you can't really tell and obviously it's not stuck down but the minute i lift it up you can see the line for where the lace is at now i don't really mind it now the other thing that i haven't done sorry i gotta shift my wig back is i have not plucked any of the parts this one i need to pluck because it's just too thick in the front but i haven't plucked it and i think it looks natural when it's on my head in terms of like parting now initially when i got these wigs they were these are not the original colors so i just want to put that out there um this i think might have been like a karen wig and this was uh kylie platinum or kylie blonde one of the two if i can find that information i'm gonna put them up on the screen for you but i mentioned these two wigs is because i had to add roots to it so if i can find the videos where i did like what i call a shadow root i'm gonna link them down below below and the main reason that i had to add roots to them is because i'm dark skinned when i put it on i was looking in my opinion i was looking a little crazy and it just it didn't match with my skin tone so i went in and added roots now i think since i've added roots i'm not sure i'm thinking i'm maybe an inspiration a lot of these wigs now come with roots whereas back when i got mine they didn't have a lot of options with roots um so i think that definitely helps but also just keep in mind that you know you may have to you may have to work with the lace in order for the lace to look natural against your head did i mention i put i think i mentioned i put purple shampoo in them because this one was too golden and this one was also too golden so this is more i don't know if you can kind of see it like it's kind of like a bluish color towards the ends um i'm gonna get to this wig last i'm gonna try to make this video really really quick because i do have a decent amount of videos on my channel this is specifically i probably should have mentioned this in the beginning um specific specifically about the lace um now this one i got on sale i paid maybe like close to 600 with tax and shipping around that but i i want to say it was probably around 500 um and you guys can actually see like you can see clearly where i've put like a decent amount of foundation and contour and stuff like that on here but towards the front now there's still a little bit of like adhesive on it but that doesn't speak for why you can actually still see that the lace is like really really white towards the front um 
I'll be honest, like these three wigs, I, ha I have a really hard time matching the lace. I really do. Like, I think it looks good, but like what doesn't lie is like one, natural light when you're wearing lace, um, and two, when it, you're taking pictures in the dark. And I don't want to say like the flash comes on, but the flash comes on and it just like shows up right on your face. So, again, these are older wigs, but matching the lace um, definitely was like an issue for me. Now with this last one, um, I'm going to insert obviously a picture up on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like when I'm wearing it. This one actually matches the best. Um, and the lace is, so the lace on these three, the blondes, uh, is thinner than the lace on the black wig. I, I don't know, I can't even say it was based on when I purchased it because they were purchased at different times. Like these three were purchased within the same year. This is my most recent one. Um, one other thing about the lace is the lace is very, very durable. When I say very, very durable, this one when I was um, coloring the hair, I put like the uh, T-pins in it. And one of the T-pins, like if you guys ever use T-pins, it's like round like this. And it has an opening here and it got caught on the lace and it actually tore the lace uh, years ago. While I'm talking, I'm just going to take the wigs off and put them on my head so you can see what they look like. And the, the tear never spread. When I say never spread, I mean it never spread. And that was three years ago. So you don't have to worry about if the lace um, tears that it's going to damage. Now, disclaimer... That I always try to make I do not sleep in my wigs I do not sleep in my wigs sleeping in your wigs to me is a big no now whatever works for whoever it works for but I've been on that road with a wig that I spent almost $1,200 on and it shed like crazy so I'm not doing that again I'm not making that same mistake again oh, look at this can we get into this color and I was actually gonna curl it again cuz press for time and want to make sure my wigs are curled and ready to go um, so this one was the cheapest one um and i colored it myself i think i did a good job on the color you can see like dimension which you guys have always heard me say like i love on my channel but the minute i put it on my head you can see it now you can clearly see by the part which i'm probably gonna end up tweezing that obviously it's really really dark so you can have an idea of the shade of uh, foundation or contour it's MAC match master number 10 is what I used to try to get this to match and the minute I put it on I'm trying to get in my mirror here so I can see it you can see the lace just like shows up right there even when it's stuck down now on the sides I don't say like it's not so bad like if I left out a little bit of my hair and we put like I don't know but I feel as though the lace is the lace is an issue like the lace is an issue like you guys see it like you see it even more when I lift my head up like even if it's stuck down the lace is an issue so I mean it looks good from far um, and I'll probably have this worn a little bit forward so you can't really notice it that much but the lace just, I don't know, it just doesn't match that well I'm gonna put on the other one that I have the other blonde one, I think I've gotten it to a point Oh Lord, where it matches a little bit better, but it's it's still the same issue. Like I had I had there I had to do a lot of work, a lot of work to get it to match. Um, the lace, the roots, like, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna put this one on so you guys can see for yourself. Now this one, like, I don't want to say like in this lighting I feel like it matches a little bit better and that's because like I've done like a lot to try to get this to look like really really natural but like even still like you can it looks fine from here like and if I move this forward a little bit you're not going to be able to see hopefully I didn't just stain that but like and I put on an adjustable strap and it's a little bit more snug so it matched a little bit better but these are more expensive wigs I feel as though maybe because this one's a little bit it was a sale wig so it's not bad um, but I'll show you a picture of like me wearing this wig at like night and like it just now the other thing that could have contributed to it is that the elastic band I changed out the elastic band to my own because the adjustable one if you're gluing the wig down it's just too bulky so it doesn't really allow you to stick the air tabs on properly I recently just changed the elastic band on this wig again um, because it was just it was too loose I've had it like I said over three years and just wore out um, but now that I've I don't want to say like I'm wearing it since I've done that. I am wearing it since I've done that. Um, the lace actually you can't see it. 
But you guys saw what I was talking about. And you'll see in the picture um, that I'm showing you that it, it just, I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't match. And I'm not sure, if, is that lace or is that hairs? I gotta, I wanna be sure, because I wanna make sure that I give you guys accurate information, but I know for, it took a while for this lace. Like, you can still see it right here, but it's not as bad as it was before um, me changing the elastic band. So I guess that also had something to do with it, but the elastic band on this one is tight. So there's definitely, like, no excuse there. Um, and I think you see it more because the roots are darker. Now, again... This is an older wig. Um, it's about it's about to be three years old. Um, the price and the fact that the lace is a little bit thicker. Um, and then this is the the very last one that I got, which I was really really impressed with. This one I actually left the hooks on. Um, it did not hinder me installing it, so I just think over time, um, you know, just like, just like everything else, it's gotten better. But this is the one that I had to do the least amount to to get the lace to match. Now I did put my um, my contour on it because I am dark skin and you know when I'm putting on my makeup my contour is at the top so why not put contour on it to get it to match. Now I don't recommend doing that any longer because it's, I don't know, it's not the, for this particular way it worked and then for the fact that the roots are darker um, I think it, it also helped it to blend out a little bit better but you can actually still see it right here because I've washed it so I've washed a lot of it off but you can still see where the lace is at but it definitely like when I lift it up for the hairline definitely matches a lot better um I don't want to say like straight out of the box but with a lot less work than my other wigs. That's pretty much all this video is about. It's just like showing you guys how the lace blends, showing you guys with roots, without roots, against darker skin tones. Um, because I do think it matters. Like I said, I do get a decent amount of questions about it, but yeah. Um, I mean with all that said, I gave you guys a lot of information. I'm not trying to tell you what to buy, what not to buy. I would still buy a Freedom Couture wig. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention about this wig. And it could be because it's longer, so obviously longer hair is older hair. It takes a little bit longer for it to grow. Um, this hair is, doesn't have the same luster as my other two blonde units. Um, it's shed a little bit more. It's also full lace. Um, but it's, I want to say it's not as soft. The luster is different. I feel like you guys can see, like, on camera. And I use her products on this wig. I bought the All You Need kit, which I think you guys should buy if you're buying a Freedom Couture wig. And I feel like I'm all over the place, but I'm trying to give you guys as much information as possible to help you make an informed decision. Um, it is soft. It has more of like a natural luster. Whereas these, you can clearly see like right next to each other. It's just, I don't know. It's not as shiny, but it looks more natural. That is, uh, that's pretty much all the information I have for you guys. Uh, that wraps this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.